Section 36 of the Book of Divine Consolation of the Blessed Angela of Foligno. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Treatise 2, Chapter 35. How that each person should desire to perform his penance as secretly as possible and in a seemly manner. Each person should endeavor to do his penance as secretly as possible, and if he cannot do this, then should he desire to do it, and he must do his penance in public and endeavor not to be observed. If we neglected good works for this reason, we should seem lukewarm and fearful, and we ought to neglect them in no wise whatsoever. In these matters have we our master's example. For he did many things which were never written down, nor noised abroad. Moreover, for our sake, he did many things in public, nor did he cease from doing good even though he was seen of men. And although we may find it hard to do penance, which, however, seemeth unto me to be necessary, let us at least make a virtue of necessity, and bear patiently and willingly those tribulations which are sent us of God. There is no doubt that when men are troubled outwardly and inwardly, it is a sign that they are loved of the Beloved. Those things which God the Father loved, and chose, and gave, unto his only dearly beloved Son, doth this only Son choose, and give unto his dear children. God the Father chose for his Son poverty, contempt, and suffering, persecutions, and afflictions. These things outwardly and inwardly did the Son of God endure, weariness, fear, anxiety, and agony, and other things so innumerable, that tongue cannot tell nor heart imagine them. Let us study, then, how to bear worldly tribulations with patience, yea, even with cheerfulness, because herein lieth the sign that the Beloved delighteth in us, and hath chosen us, and will give us the pledge of his inheritance. When ye suffer, think only upon the sufferings of the man of sorrows, and all your griefs will be healed. End of section 36